I cleaned it up a bit. This is everything I intend on keeping. This is for you. I found this guide online on how to cut the wiring and where to splice it, so I'm going to start doing that. I have a section, pulled off a section of the engine harness, and now I'm just uh, cutting things off. It says of this entire harness section, we're only interested in that part, and then this yellow cable leading out, so I'm going to cut this off. I showed it cutting here, but I'm going to cut it probably here just so uh, if I ever decide to reuse this again I can put it back and then it also says to cut off the other end which is the one right here. All of this will not be used so I'm going to set aside. This is what we kept and we have this to work with. I'm taking a break for the day but I just want to show you what I did. So I went from this SMJ connector that's what's connecting to that harness right there that goes to the engine. Um, I took all the tape and plastic off. There was like this, um, there was this white plastic piece that covered this that I took off. Then what I did was I pulled this and anything that wasn't leading to the ECU right there, I just kept pulling and anything that was connected to it, I just kept snipping, snipping, snipping. So I'm trying to bring this back so it's only this harness. And then also there's these plugs. This is for the transmission, the O2 sensor, and something else. But same thing here. If it's not leading towards the ECU, then it goes away too. These are the main connections I'll be needing. Um, I'm gonna take a break today, but I think for the instructions, I'll have to unwrap that, see what connects there, and then anything that's not I would just chop it off. Same with the stuff over here. Might have to chop that off. So all of this will not be used. It looks a little messy, but it's kind of organized. So what I have here is the ECU connection. So that goes here. There is this whole bundle of stuff, like the O2 sensors, the MAF sensors and stuff. So I took all of that, um, all the plastic off, and I pretty much isolated it to itself. There was this one connection that went to this Y, um, I don't think I need it, so I cut it off, and I'll figure out where that goes later. I don't think I need it, so I have that off to the side, and then for this SMJ connection, this is what we want, and then these connections, we wanna take these back to the ECU, and then I think these are the connections to the right of the passenger seat, and I think not sure if it's this purple and green one. I'll need to confirm, but I think that's all that we need to connect to the fuel pump controller. So um, I'm gonna grab the fuel pump controller from the car another day. I'll connect this here and make sure that I know which wires to pull. Then I'll pull that back to the ECU and then I'll just like cut off all the wires that I don't need. Just a quick rundown of what I did. These are the wires that go on the passenger side. They were overlapping over there, so anything that didn't tie to the ECU, I cut off. So right now, this can be set to the side. These are the transmission, rear O2, and uh, some other sensor, and that's SMG connector. So that's all leading back to the ECU. And then these wires just lead to some other stuff. I'm planning to cut it right there. And then I can look at the wiring diagram and re-solder what I need to the GC8. I cleaned it up a bit. This is everything I intend on keeping. And this is everything I'm tossing away.
I'm starting the wiring process and I have this guide that's been walking me through this and uh, it's telling me I need to essentially use this new ECU. I'm going to be splicing wires from here into this um, using a specific guide. There's a guide here that uh, another person developed and it's supposed to help me distinguish which ones I need to cut and what I don't. So this guy is telling me to cut certain wires to connect to there and anything else I would cut and pretty much discard. Essentially the GC8 engine harness and whatever else isn't used, just cut it off and throw it away. But I actually don't want to do that. That would be the cleanest method, but I'm thinking I just want to connect the wires that I need to in order to get the car functional without any check engine lights. Once that's functioning, then I might decide to cut off any wires that I don't need and discard those as well. So I just have the guide that's been walking me through this. I have this other, it's like a Banshee guide. I already found some errors in it, but it tells you like what the description is, like speed sensor, WRX, ECU pinout, it's on B134, pin number one, which corresponds to the GC8 B135 plug, a pin uh, 24 and so on and so forth. I actually created this myself. This is the WRX plugs that go into the ECU and then this is like each pin and these are the colors and what they correspond to. Um, anything that needed, like here it tells you what color it is. I haven't verified these, but I essentially wrote like this pin right here is the speed sensor. And then I did that. This, I did the same thing for the GC8, the three plugs, the ones over there, and the five down there. Uh, there's five plugs up there and three there, and it will correspond to another pin. So this one would be the speed sensor. So it just helps me visually um, understand what I need to replace and the colors and so on and so forth. I right, went to the service manuals. This is the O3 WRX ECU pinout, and this is the 2001 GC8 pinout and I did the same thing so it would say like the it would say the connector and the terminal and then I did that over here and I essentially laid out every pin that's on there but some of them I won't be using that's why they're grayed out but I essentially went through all five pages of this four pages of this and then all three pages of this and did this so I'll be starting the wiring I'm gonna start cutting things and then just checking things off off of that off of this and then off of these so I'm like quadruple checking myself to make sure that I'm connecting the right wire because I want to make sure that this car works uh, essentially you're destroying two cars in order to make one better car but I don't know if it's gonna work I'm gonna try and then I'm gonna keep it so it's like I can kind of reverse it if I if I screw up some wiring and this whole this whole swap doesn't work. I can still resolder the wires that I need to and still use the old ECU and put the old engine back in. But I hope that this does work. So here we go. This is where the old ECU mounted up, and I have this secured in. It's uh, I'd say it's pretty close. I don't know if it's gonna block the shield when I put that back on, but we'll see. So right now, this is. These are the GC8 wires. These are the ones for the uh, WRX. And essentially, I'm going to follow this chart and, this, and then figure out what wires go with what here. Cut them and then splice them, or splice them and then solder them together. This looks like a mess, but it's pretty organized. So I have all the wiring complete, or most of it, except the fuel pump controller. So we have these connections that go to like the O2 sensors and MAF sensors that goes in there. We have this um, section, we have the section that goes to the engine harness. So that plugs in there. And then we have this SMJ connection, which plugs in over here. And the reason why I left it over here instead of plugged in down there is because there's some leads I think it goes to the water temp and something else that uh, this the line's pretty short so that wraps all the way here and then we have the fuel pump controller and there's those two lines that come out of it I need to hook these up to the fuel pump and then I think we're good so I was kind of eyeballing all this and the lengths are not 
what I want it to be. I have the section that goes to the SMJ and then this goes back to the GC8 harness and you can just see like the lengths are just a total mess. And I'm gonna recut them and resolder them so that they're equal. And then there's all this mess here. This is the, the rest of the GC8 ECU plugs and then the ones that went to the engine. And they're kind of intertangled right here. And instead of just cutting this to remove this, um, I want to preserve these in case I want to use it in the future. I'm going to cut where I soldered them and then shift it so it, all of this bypasses this wiring so I can just pull it out and then cut it to length so it'll look a lot cleaner. So I'm just going to work on that for a little bit. I'm in the back seat and there's this plug right here. This one is the negative um, to the fuel pump and that's the positive. So I had to cut this and then solder the, the black and white wire to here. That one goes to the fuel pump, and then this black one can be grounded anywhere, but I read that you can just connect it to here. That way you don't have another wire hanging around. For the other two plugs on the fuel pump controller, there's this red plug right there I just cut it in half, and then the side that leads to the car. I attached this black and yellow wire. This is supposed to be 12 volt constant, and then this is the fuel pump positive. So here's the fuel pump location. It's behind the back seat. There's this cover and you just take off four Phillips head screwdrivers then gotta remove all these. This is the fuel pump. Here are the two fuel pumps. This is the one, the one from the WRX. And this is the one from the GC8. Fuel pump was swapped. One more thing. Uh, on pin B137, number 23, there is this red and blue cable. I forgot that I had this just taped up and I was getting a check engine light for P1446. It had something to do with the solenoid that's in the WRX that's not in the GC8, so. Um, I read online that you're supposed to get a solenoid and connect it or use a resistor. I just searched B13723 and some people recommended that I connect it to this 12 volt ECU source, this tape in the middle. It's one of these pins in B137, but it's a 12 volt switch source, so I just connected to that and the check engine light seems to be going away. I was getting the check engine light when I first started the car, but once I cleared it, it didn't come back until I started the car again. So I think it's uh, the ECU is checking for a 12 volt source or some voltage or amperage, um, and that's why that check engine light is coming on. But after I connected that, it seems seems to have gone away. I got everything hooked up. Pretty messy in here, but it's hooked up. This is the moment of truth. I don't know if the battery's charged, but we'll see. It's not good. Let me prime the engine again. Notice that I didn't fully plug this in. There we go. Make sure all these are in. Alright, let's try it again. I wasn't I didn't hear the fuel priming. Oh, hear it now. Let's see if it starts up. Try it again. What was that? This is for you.